great mathematician who recycled himself to be a leader of redeem with voodoo and all, all of the rubbish thing. Then he's now trying to come to the prophetic seats. Do you remember what he said in the book of 1 Samuel 10? 1 Samuel 8, 10, 11, 12. He said he saw among the prophets. Why is he prophesying? Who is asking Adebo who will be the next president? Why are they asking him? Why are they asking Adebo this? What did Adebo know about God? What does he know about the heavenly one? He is to be judged and to be judged. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. All right, everyone. Good day and God bless you. I just want to, you know, do this little video and... Um, as I count days prior to my return fully to the channel, there are some videos I saw that I've seen many, but I have just um, restrained myself. But there are some of these that I think it is, you know, worthy lending my voice and my opinion on. And um, first of them is um, this, you know, the Nigerian 2023 presidential election has gathered a lot of dust. We have had all kinds of prophecies and predictions and declarations. And, uh, you know, just like it was a few years ago when um, this kind of a thing happened, so many people felt bad. A lot of youths, you know, felt bad. And this one is worse because of the nature and uh, the way the things that panned out, panned out. Now, but the, the permutations have not ended yet. We are still... You know, looking up to um, the 29th of May when this present administration is supposed to swear in a new administration. And we have heard all kinds of prophecies that have said that will not happen. But then before then, in this video you are going to listen to uh, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. You know what he said before the election and the man... Um, a prophet with the celestial church, a white government prophet, um, prophet Tibetan, that comes after Adeboye for saying, for calling some of them. Even though that Adeboye did not mention name, but then it is, um, it is becoming very dirty, you know, what pastors do against themselves these days in the body of Christ. So at the end of that, you will also hear the voice of Apostle Michael Oroko, who I think made a lot of sense in his video and i think that we'll be able to settle what you're about to hear now so i'd like you to you know sit back and enjoy the video thank you so much i'll be seeing you somewhere in the video god bless you you know the beauty about hearing from him is that no fake prophet can deceive you a prophet will come and say i received this one from the lord you say hey. I didn't receive it. <laughs> the Bible made it clear. My sheep hear my voice. You can never be deceived again. When you begin to hear from God yourself. Let me tell you one thing. And this is for your ears only. Anyone who's prophesying now, telling you this is a fellow who will win, this is a fellow who is, who is deceiving you. You know why? Daddy has not spoken yet. He hasn't said anything. So if you say somebody released a prophecy and saying, that somebody from this place is a liar. Hmm. Look at the video of late. There is one elderly man who is supposed to have been retired. The hang around the wheel of redeem. Call Adeboye. He said, if there is any prophet, Adeboye is not a prophet. Jeremiah 1, Jeremiah 2, only a prophet is one but not trained. This is a retired mathematician. 
who recycled himself to be a leader of redeemed with voodoo and not all of the rubbish thing, then is now trying to come to the prophetic seeds. Do you remember what he said in the book of 1 Samuel 10? 1 Samuel 8, 10, 11, 12. He said he saw among the prophets. Why is he prophesying? Who is asking Adeboye who will be the next president? Why are they asking him? Why are they asking Adeboye this? What did Adeboye know about God? What does he know about the heavenly one? He is to be judged and to be judged. But the Bible said, at the later part of our life, the, the, angel, the, the prophets are going to be what? Are going to be converted amongst those people who are going to judge the world. But not on the feed of Adeboye. Not on the feed of Oyedeko. Not on the feed of uh, the, the mountain of fire pastor. They are not prophets. A prophet is being and not trained. Look at all the word of uh, all the word in lamentation. From lamentation one to five, go and read. It tally with what is happening in Nigeria. When you go and look at what happened in the book of uh, fourth king, uh, second king, chapter four, chapter five, chapter six, and seven, it tally with what, what is, who wrote all these songs? They are the, they are the prophets. They are the prophets. Then for you to come out in the air telling them all what they have been saying. Why do you have, why do you gather all the kings? It will it will redeem the other day. What do you what are you telling them? Is it the message from the Buhari to them? Is it message from Ochibachi to them? Then are you going there for praise worship or, or anything? If you drop there tomorrow, redeem with scatter to 3 million youths. Exactly. Unit. Yet, you mean? what we pass through in Celestia, redeem will not be able to pass through it. <laughs> because they are, their leader is a liar. Oh, yeah, Adeboye is a liar. He never come through and open to these people. They are the one using Amateku to guide his son. He's using Amateku to guide himself. And then it's not a straightforward man. Somebody who is using Ankara to pilot, to, to be in, in the two jets. Then where is it in the Bible? Where is it in his crystal ball? And we look at the jet. And 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 when you look at the book of 1 Samuel 9, 1 Samuel 9 and 10, and he said, Saul, Saul, the son of Kish, the camel that got to me has been found. Into to that place, he said, Come to me to the high table. The Lord has revealed to me all that thing again. You are going to be the first king in Israel. And that was all. And that was all. Who can some, how can somebody of late? Not up to two years, my brother. Let me tell you this. Somebody died in Redeem. One of the one of the strongest member, pillar, when they went for the burial. Do you remember? Other two women brought their the children that they have for this man, whom they called born again to the burial. And they were said they should close their mouth and said, We have never seen the two the two the children. They resemble the, the, the deceased. <laughs> then if Adebo said he can see vision, what about the people that died in his church this year? The two great people, the person he has anointed before that's going to take the position after him. Why is he anointing the person? You know, he's going to die before him. So automatically Adebo is not a prophet. Nobody in Nigeria should listen to Adeboye as a prophet. He's a carnal man. He's a teacher of mathematics. Then he's using mathematics to gather those people together. And he's using mathematics to get money from all the members. And you remember when he was even saying he need billions the other day? Because he's, he, he's the darling with devil and then he cannot work with God again. And when you look at the book of Matthew, Matthew when you go to the book of Matthew 6, 18, he said one master cannot serve two masters. <laughs> The only thing I saw in this video that is, um, you know, is very notable is that, yeah, Badeboye may have made some mistake by saying that God has not spoken to anyone. You know, because I understand that God can bypass an ally to speak to a young Samuel. But please don't read too many, too much meanings to what I'm saying. I'm not calling Pastor Adeboye now an ally. We know how we place a lie when it comes to, you know, um, he stand with the Lord at a time. So this is not what I'm trying to impute in here. Uh, you may have your opinion about anybody, but this is not my opinion. What I'm trying to say here is that Padeboye may have erred, but you know that I have always said that there is nowhere and no way you can have a man who would speak for long and will not have human error. I get it. Sometimes we have some righteous than thou Christians who will come and ask you, uh, is he not speaking by the Holy Ghost? Is he not speaking... By the Holy Ghost, this and that and that and that. Now, understand that no man has been inspired 100% by the Holy Spirit. There will always be that aspect of the human flesh coming in. And so if we are to say that, uh, is he not speaking by the Holy Ghost? Is he supposed to speak like that? That means that we are saying that, you know, he is now perfect. Imperfection is no longer found in him. Now, that is the, you know, the area I'm looking at it from. But then, don't we have a lot of these people who are false prophets, who are fake? Even the man in the video who attacked Adeboye for saying what he said, 
was part of those that predicted that France was going to win the last you know, World Cup, which Argentina ended up winning. Now, so, you know, I, I really, I, I, I was surprised that he could come up like that against Adeboye because in the first place, Pastor Adeboye did not mention names. He just said, every one of these people who are saying the Lord told me this, this, that, and that, this is the person that will win, this is the person that will not win. He said, they are fake. Nalayo, that was the word he used. Nalayo, Baba has not spoken. It's only that aspect of Baba not having spoken that I think, you know, may not be correct. If God is interested in the affairs of the nation, God may have spoken to some persons somewhere in the secret because God will not take permission from Adeboye before he talks to his children. And if he in that video admitted that, you know, God's children can hear directly from God, it means that there could have been somebody in his congregation even that may have even heard from the Lord when he himself had not heard from the Lord. Now, but then be it as it may, I have a, a very good piece of advice coming from Apostle Michael Oroko, you know, directed to persons, you know, pastors and prophets, no matter who you are, as it has to do with all these things that we see uh, happening in the church. Thank you so much and God bless you. Watch till the end and put down your comments in the comment section. Let us know what you think about it. I'll be seeing you in the next video shortly. Till then from me to you. Shalom. You, if somebody else attacks you or speaks against you, it's not an avenue to rebuff. It's not an avenue to attack back and bring superior argument. Do you know what happens? Those who follow will be excited. Yes, that my own pastor too has brought his opinion and then they'll start arguing which opinion is superior. At the end of the day, you know what? You know who we suffer is the followers. Because what that does is that it plants bitterness and dishonor in the hearts of those who follow. This is why when the church in Corinth were fighting, I belong to Paul, I belong to Apollos, I belong to Cephas. You know the foundation of the argument. Others said, Cephas is the one who walked with Jesus Christ. He's the head of the church. So he's bigger than all the apostles. And the other ones came and said, Paul is more doctrinally sound. The realm Paul enters and the things Paul knows. Even Peter knows that Paul knows better. And then the other ones came and said, no, Apollos is the next generation. All those ones are old apostles. This is where God is going. <laughs> so we'll follow Apollos. Apollos is the future. Others say Paul has stature. Paul has spiritual intelligence. Others say Peter was the one who sat with Jesus Christ. And when Paul showed up, because Paul was mature, he wasn't moved about followership. He wasn't moved about who validated him or who disagreed with him. When Paul showed up, he said, stop that. He said, did Paul die for you? He said, did Apollos die for you? He said, Paul planted Apollos waters. Christ gave the increase. So he channeled the whole glory from men because the reason they were fighting like that in the first place was because the allegiance was not to Jesus, it was to men. That's why today, somebody can neglect the Holy Spirit and fight you because of somebody else. And you find the church divided into layers and fracas because we are fighting for our fathers in the Lord, we are fighting for our pastors, we are fighting for our bishop, and the body is dividing and we don't care. And our fathers are fighting in the first place because of the pride of intelligence, because of insecurity, because of bitterness, and because of a quest of being the people in charge and all of these things don't advance god's kingdom in the new church in the early church they were only interested in christ and his kingdom and so the one who is more mature is the one who comes up and says it's not about with any of us it's about jesus christ and if you know it's about jesus christ when you find two elders quarreling don't take sides pray if you take sides it means you were not well discipled and if those elders also go about fearing fire because of followership and because of human approval it means even their own eldership is questionable because those are things that children should do the body of christ have grown people can disagree people can quarrel because misunderstandings can arise but when we are of one heart we will solve those issues we will resolve them and in a situation where we cannot resolve them we will forbear until we all come to the same level of maturity why do we have misunderstanding it's because we are not at the same level of maturity if we were all at the same level of maturity we will never have misunderstandings and so when we have misunderstandings it's an alarm system in the spirit that we are not all mature or we are not all equally mature and so the one who is most mature is expected to forbear waiting for when the immature one becomes mature and then we can connect that's what heart does mind can be different but when heart is one there's forbearance and it is in that forbearance that the right thing is done and so at that level you don't relate because people are reasonable you relate because love compels you 
the body of Christ is yet to come to that level. This is why we have individually anointed people, but corporately we can't change things. This election we are talking about now, if we were in one accord, we can scatter all their plans. We don't even need to consult INEC. They can plan, we will change it in the spirit. Because when we talk, if we forbid it, it will be forbidden. And if they refuse to do it, heavenly envoys will be mobilized. But you have individual giants who have never agreed. So one can raise the dead, one can prophesy, one can heal the sick. But at the end of the day, they are individual anointings. Building separate systems. When you look at one system, it's outrightly attacking another system as though that system is an outcast. And then we come together and we say, body of Christ, where is it?